Hey everybody, it's Tracy again, and this is my second video for the day. Uh, well, third if you count the first one that was really just horrible and deleted and done correctly the second time. Um, I'm going to share with you a mini album that I had seen earlier this week. I actually had seen it several times on YouTube and just never really attempted to do it. I learned the album as well as the technique um, that everybody's used from Laura Dennison on Follow the Paper Trail, her Stack the Deck technique. Um, but the album I'd seen um, from Ginger, from My Sister Scrapper, and I've seen different, different versions, so I'm not really sure if it's hers, but I saw the video and thought, I'm going to give this a go. Why not? It can't hurt, right? Uh, I'm trying to de-stash, or not so much de-stash, but use up some of my stash without buying new stuff. And of course, what did I do? I went and bought new paper for this mini album. <laughs> Oops. Um, I, I believe she actually it was one of those bot tutorials um, so I just kind of watched her video over and over and over until I figured out how to do it on my own made my own measurements for it and I showed a picture on Facebook of the front of the mini album and everybody's like oh my gosh I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done so I decided to do a video on it so I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you and I'm sorry if the lighting's bad it's kinda dark in my room which I've mentioned before and um, hope you enjoy. So this album is um, I use the paper stack uh, Recollections Paper Stack Union Square which is really weird because I've seen another video this afternoon and the lady, the gal, um, I don't remember her name, she had used Union Square as well but it was called, it was from Lost and Found rather than Re Recollections. I don't know if there's some something going on with that or what but um, and so I just added some little Recollections flowers here and added some flat back pearls on there and the same here and then this is actually Recollections flower and this black polka dotted part and this part here I'd gotten in a swap on one of my Facebook book groups and just kind of added that on there and then this bling here and here as well was um, from Recollections as well and it was at Michael's on clearance so I had and put that on there um, and this is part of the Union Square and I have it here on the side as well excuse me so there's that the back I just did the red and then on here as well which these were all scraps from the inside of the album the base is just a chipboard that you can get at Michaels for 59 cents um, and then the black is actually it's color block I believe you can go to Walmart and get a stack of like 40 some odd sheets for five bucks so hey save 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 and then I just did a little velcro class because I don't have the magnets or anything else but this velcro actually came in little packets like this that we got, <laughs> we got from Comcast when they sent us their, their new, little, new little receivers we have to use in order to see our TV so you open it up like this and I just made a little pocket and used one of my um, Fisker punches and it's actually embossed there and I made a couple tags there in these tags the mat this mat here is a 4x4 four four size and then this one here I believe it's a four and a quarter size on that so there's that there and then over here is the the stack I don't know whose idea this was like I said I don't know whose idea it was so credit to whoever did it thanks for sharing and then some more recollections flowers with some more flat back pearls well these ones are not um, and it just opens up there and I have a little pull out tag here same size as the other one <clears throat> and basically the book is all the same throughout the whole book <clears throat> excuse me this base, the matte part, the silver part, is actually envelopes from some cards packs at work that we had to destroy because they were fading from the sun. So the envelopes were fine, so why not keep them, right? And so then you flip it over here, and there's just some more of that paper. I really love this paper stack, and that's why I kind of fouled and picked that up. Um... So each page is a little, I mean, they're set up the same. It's with the stack of the deck here, but each paper is different. Um, 
and I'm not really one for glitter. My one of my friends and I call it the herpes of scrapbooking, um, because it comes off, and that's you know it's not a good thing. But this glitter doesn't come off. Um, so then there's the back side there, and there's another little tag. There is actually one piece of paper in this album, which we're coming up on, um, that is not from this stack, but it, it you wouldn't know unless somebody like me told you. <laughs> um, more of the flowers. And this is the paper I was telling you about. That's actually from Kay and Company, and it was from the, one of their Valentine stacks from last year. But it, I wanted a little bit more red in, in the stack, and I thought that just fit perfectly with it. I mean, excuse me, in the album. Um... I mean, come on, love, right? So there's that one. And I still have lots of this stack left because it was a 48-page paper stack and two of each, and so I didn't really need a whole lot, but because um, I used some of each paper. Let's get in the screen there, Trace. Um, on several different spots on this album so I wouldn't be just using one piece of 12 by 12 paper for one little 5 by 5 square uh, page. Um, so there's that one. I just was really impressed at how well this turned out for me not having the slightest clue about what I was doing. And there's only six pages in here. Well, there's six flaps, um, but there's lots of pages. Uh, okay, sorry if I'm all jiggly here. Uh, and then the last one, well the last flap, there's that. I didn't really care for that paper, but I wanted to try and use some of each of the colors in the stack. And then the last one here. I did have a little difficulty with the stack the deck because I couldn't quite remember how to do it. And I was too lazy how to get the video out. And it was the first time doing it, so I think I did pretty good. And then the last, in the inside back of it. And music there. Whoops. Following. Okay. So that's my mini album and like I said, um, I got the idea, I believe I got the idea from Angela from my sister Scrapper. I'm not really sure, you know, it could be somebody else's, but either way, props to whoever came up with this awesome idea. I know the Stack the Deck was Laura Dennison's idea. I can give her that, right? Alright guys, thanks for stopping by.